how much more uh, he's able to do with his mobility, with having a partner to cover him, with having his... He has one of the best follow-ups with team partners in the yeah. game. Just with his down air that can last forever, he's able to play a plethora of different roles. And to have two of them helping each other out yeah. <laughs> is uh, going to be a little bit nuts. And of course, Pug West Mars with Marth and Zero Suit. Pretty much their exclusive mains. Yep, but we do know that Mario has a little bit of trouble against Swords in the past. But uh, we're going to see how that difference, or if there is a difference here in doubles. Yeah, so far the team's split up. 1v1 situations. Yep, just kind of try to feel each other out. Not get too... Oh my he got goodness. The, that, that awareness from Anti to yep. just go for that kind of side B was really remarkable. Really good stuff. You can tell he has a good amount of practice. Maybe not only in the Marth matchup, but the Pug West matchup as well. And so using that cape again. And it it changes up when you get capes. You yeah, can't it throws change you off. your direction. It throws for a you off bit. really bad. Almost so much to the point where he can probably get another follow up afterward. Mars whiffing a grab there, gets forward smash for it, not gonna die. Right yet. here we're gonna have a very tight situation for Pug West. Trying to get out of this uh, double Mario 2v1 situation, but uh, we had Mars where it was able to come back onto the stage and kind of interrupt it. Just and time. thinking about it, it is probably smart. The red team is wow, because he had he had to block the entire time because he was afraid of the back throw. Pogwes was there to to uh, he could have rolled. Him, I think he might have been able to roll, but he did not expect that to completely break his shield in one shot. Definitely. There goes Pogwes again. He's off stage high percent. Oh my God! All the up smashes right now. That was a really good awareness on Mars' part to oh, be able to up follow up and then down air the person yeah. trying to interrupt. You always have to be looking at the opponent's team partner when you're doing a, a conversion like that. So you can make sure if he's going to overextend trying to stop it. Mars at high percent has to play very carefully here. He wants to hold onto his stock, but he gets up smashed. Gets up smashed. That's going to be his first stock being lost. Two stocks, uh, well, Three stocks to uh, five here. Yeah. Really big deficit right now. We're going to see what they can do to actually come back against this double Mario uh, Tyrant wow. team. The tipper back here from, Mar or from Pug West there, not enough to take out Anti still. Neither is that up B. We have Anti really holding on to the stock, not wanting to give anything up and getting whatever damage he can before he dies. And against a team like Blue Team, I feel like they would have an easy time kill killing, confirms. you know? Yeah. He's doing a really good job of holding on to the stock for sure. And applying pressure all around. He's kind of that all around character, like I was saying. Like Mario can do it all, especially in teams. And especially when you have him in the hands of someone like Anti and Larry. Absolutely. Hug West whiffing that grab. Getting punished for it. Finally, Mario is able to seal Anti's first stock, but... Small consolation prize at this point for Blue Team. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty uh, one-sided at this point. The Blue Team's gonna have to make an immense comeback here, an immense adjust, uh, an immense adjustment, just to be able to uh, kind of stay in the game. Absolutely. And we haven't really been seeing those team combos that you know Pug West and Mars are, are famous for. Right. Because they've been too busy trying to just defuse everything that Mario's are throwing at them. You know, they haven't really had too much of a at like. They haven't had too many situations where they were at the advantage, where you know both Mars were in the air, or when uh, both Mars were behind on one side of the stage. They've almost always been exclusively sandwiched or separated yeah. throughout the entire uh, course of this match. Which might be the strategy from Red Team, you know? They think, yeah. you know, all right, we're, we're fantastic players. We may not have as much synergy as you guys do, but if we keep you guys separated, the synergy is moot. Yep. And Red Team sealing the first game there with three stocks left. Three really Mario's. commanding. First game here from Larry and Anti. We're going to see what's going to be uh, actually expected in game two here. They're going to have to make some kind of immense adjustments. These are the types of situations where you look over to the teams and you expect to see them like next to each other, yeah. like scrambling for advice. But here in this situation, they're kind of just jumping right into the next match. I think they kind of know where each one is probably messed up and needs where they need to adjust. So Town and City, the counterpick from Blue Team. That walk up and grab by Pug West with all the confidence in the world gets the... Uh, I think it was like 4% from that punish, but... They probably just don't want Anti to live until 180% again. That you know? was a, yeah, that was actually a really big factor as well. They're going to have to do a much better job in this game in actually getting big conversions into kills, which is probably why they went to Zero, to uh, Town and City in the first place as Zero Suit. Yeah, and we haven't been seeing those uh, Zero Suit combos either. I feel like Mars hasn't been getting very many grabs. He hasn't been getting many grabs. He's gone for some grabs and whipped a couple of them. And even in the upper strings he has gotten, there's always been a Mario just underneath him to kind of try to stop things. 
eats an up smash. There goes the first stock of the game. Oh, and the beautiful combos. combo from Anti and Larry. That was pretty inescapable. Usually, down throw forward air is pretty um, guaranteed at certain percents for just one Mario, let yeah. alone when, when you a second get two, one. you know. <laughs> when that second Mario forward air is just right. But uh, that's a really good lead so far. Both Mario's want to try to hold on to these stocks as much as possible, as you'd expect, Another and <laughs> seeing what kind of damage they can get before dying. These throw into spike combos from red teams. They're solid. They're yeah. just they're straight up solid. And we have a 2v1 situation, but accidentally hits uh, Mars off stage, kind of interrupting their own flow there and minimizing whatever damage they might have been able to get. Blue team able to even up the stocks here, and uh, percent's getting there. They just have to play carefully. They don't want to lose their stocks too early. Beautiful pivot grab by uh, by Pug West there, catching a roll with his uh, dash away pivot grab, but. Uh, Mars wasn't kind of there to uh, help out with the follow-up there. Marth is someone that really does need a partner to get kind of more bigger damage out of his throws. Really good team throws, but definitely needs that follow-up potential from his partner. Whiffing a grab, and that's going to be Another up smash. The, these up smashes are really big. Not going to get the photo that time or the cape, and uh, Pug West is able to recover. All right. Another Mars taking out... Um, Larry Lur there. Not going to be enough to kill. Able to live at 83%. Anti gets back to the stage and gets grabbed once again, but he's able to get back away behind his partner. And Blue Team doing a good job staying in this. You know, it's even stocks still. Yeah, this is even stocks. Uh, Pug West definitely doesn't need to do a really good job right here of not getting killed, and right there was about to. Wow, everything that just happened right there. Oh, but Anti comes off the platform and <laughs> takes out Pug West. Everything that's going on right now is an amazing play on both teams' parts. Capitalizing as much as possible wherever possible. That Uppy will not be the one to kill it. Oh, no! Spikes the other Anti Mario. <laughs> jumping in the fray to get spiked instead. Not sure if it was on purpose. Taking a was. bullet for his teammate. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was smart because he wasn't at high percent. There was a platform there to save him. Absolutely. Everything about that play was excellent. Beautiful read. He, uh, right there, Mars was really afraid of getting grabbed by a quick dash grab, instead getting a roll and getting up smashed as a result. Now it's all up to Pug West. not the situation you want to find yourself in the air so by yourself against two Marios. <laughs> up eat each other. That was weird. Able to get down. A, wow, and that was back strange. to neutral. Really good job by Pug West to be able to bring it back to neutral at least so he can continue playing the game. Oh my god, two floods in between two Marios. This is the scariest part about double Mario is they may very well be one of the best double team. Yeah, uh, teams 2v1 in the game. situations. That's a re grab. No punish from Anso there. Is going to be able to get away and back to the edge. You really have to optimize your edge play, but that is oh, going to be it. Okay, there it. it is. <laughs> oh my god. My heart was almost out of my skin because of that little flub. Anti Larry Lur taking it 2 0.